The Curry EZIP 400 modified. This is one of my weekend projects just for fun. One of the things I did was immediately up the voltage from 24 volts to 36 volts. And um, I had some other plans for it, but this has made a tr tremendous difference in how fast it is, what kind of pickup it gets, what kind of inclines it can take. As you can see from the video, um, I'm kind of taking off at a, at a cruise here, but we start to pick up some speed. Um, I've had this thing up over 20 miles an hour. For the most part, uh, it usually hovering around 15. I'd say right about here we're doing about 15 or 16. And um, overall, I'm really happy. I think the EZIP 400 is the perfect frame to build a electric scooter project on if you're, if you're gonna do any customizing at all. The, um, the 400 has room for bigger motors. Uh, it is a 24 volt system. So um, I would consider going to 36 or even 48 volts. Um, it's very similar to the 750, except the 750 has suspension in the front. Um, the handlebars were just too low for me, so I got some, some uh, chopper style handlebars, a little more comfortable seat. Um, kickstand was broken. Basically, I got this thing, it was junk, uh, wasn't running. I paid 60 bucks, that was my budget for a frame, but it actually came with a controller and a motor, and everything else was in pretty good shape. I've purchased a, a thousand watt controller, thinking I was gonna uh, need that to get this thing going, but the original Curry controller seems to be working just fine at 36 volts. Um, one of these days I will put the uh, other controller in, it can't hurt. Uh, I will definitely need to do it before I put the 1000 watt motor on, but here's the deal. These are Chinese motors. And uh, is it a 400 watt motor? Is the 1000 watt a true 1000 watt motor? Um, there's a outfit that model airplane uh, remote control car people use called Hobby King, and they have some really exciting motors, and they're pretty affordable. And they are what they are, and you can you can get a motor that's half the size of these Chinese motors, rated at 1,500 to 2,500 watts. And I think right around there is kind of the sweet spot. Um, from a physics standpoint, 700 watts is approximately one horsepower, um, but it gets kind of kind of weird because engines are only like 15% efficient, and these electric motors from China claim to be 70% efficient. I would guess the uh, Hobby King motors are probably somewhere between um, between 70 and 100% efficient. Obviously, they're not going to be 100% efficient, but you know, maybe maybe 80. Anyway, that's really important because you want to be able to get some distance. And I think that's one of the other reasons I approach this is that I really want to move into an electric car down the road. And I want to really understand what what is going on inside the car, uh, what what a certain amount of wattage it represents, and how much power you're going to need. And additionally, I'm using lead acid batteries, and uh, I can tell you right now, any thought I had about going cheap and using lead acid batteries is, is completely out the window. You need to go with one of the lithium technologies, and um, it just you know they're they're like a fifth of the weight, twice the power output, um, the more reliable, uh, you can really crank the current out of them. Um, so, a scooter like this, if I went lithium, would probably run somewhere between six and nine hundred dollars just for the batteries. So I don't think that's going to really happen. Uh, that just seems like it's taking this project to kind of a ridiculous point. But the logic behind everything that I've learned kind of has taken me there, and it just tells me that you either need to get a really tiny electric car or a whole lot of batteries and hope the engine can carry the batteries. And that's kind of the whole relationship, is weight and everything matters. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and if I do anything more exciting, I will do some more filming, but... 
Uh, it's, a, it's a fun thing to ride. I just wish it had a suspension. And if you're de- giving any thought to buying one for the kids or yourself, I don't recommend the E-Zip Curry uh, line. I would I would go with the um, uh, Blade Z. And Blade Z just rocks. Anyway, thank you.